pressing record now. Okay. Who in here was upset by not being able to attend any sporting events in 2020 because of COVID? If you were, believe me, you were not alone. A majority of my peers in this class were unable to go to professional stadiums and watch Major League Baseball games after the league decided to not allow fans in the 2020 season. I am one of the many people in the U.S. that was not a fan of the league's decision, which is why I chose to study how much it truly affected the sports community. In this speech, I will be persuading my audience, y'all, why it was a bad decision for Major League Baseball to not allow fans in 2020. People were not allowed in Major League Baseball stadiums, and uh, not being allowed in stadiums because of the virus was excessive and unnecessary in my opinion. Fans should have most definitely been allowed. It was not fair to the players nor the fans that were, that were responsible enough to stay home if they were sick. Um, people should have known just to stay home if they had to. Just like years in the past, if someone had the flu or a cold, they would not go out in public in the sense that they just did not feel good, which would have been the same case. If you felt you were exposed, you should have understood to just stay home. Um, it should have been the choice of every individual if they wanted to go in public or not. Just because one person is scared doesn't mean that the next person was. I do not believe that the outbreak was that hard to contain, though I say that loosely because I am nowhere near a scientist, nor did I study up too much about how the virus actually, how the virus contained itself. But I believe that social media played a big part in the fear factor, which is why I'm able to say that I don't think it was impossible to contain the way they brought it up to be. And now that we have talked about the problem, let's talk about what really caused it. Uh, the COVID-19 restrictions, the big thing that everyone has talked about for the past year and a half, almost two years now, uh, Major League Baseball was forced to follow COVID-19 restrictions and made it mandatory that limited contact between anybody was possible. This meant the coaches had to wear masks six feet apart all at any possible times. Everyone in the dugouts had to wear masks and it's just how it went. Um, players also had to be tested con constantly. Uh, in fear of players being sick, fans were not allowed. For whatever reason, Major League Baseball felt that the fan interaction was way too much for the players and they wanted to protect their players, which I do not see how that truly works. If you want to set in a restriction, the best thing to do is tell players there is no fan interaction allowed at all, meaning you couldn't go up to little Johnny up in the front row and give him a big hug and give him your jersey. That's just something that we would have had to lay back on, but the fans would have still been allowed to come watch the game. Um, But now that we have talked about the cause for our problem, I will discuss with the solution. Uh, the solution to the, to the COVID-19 restrictions and the fans not being allowed in stadiums would have been to allow fans until it was proven to have been a problem or not. Um, by this, I mean we could have easily gotten a public vote. The vote should have been in, should have included players as well as fans and coaches and everybody else. If a majority of players did not want fans because of the fear factor, then no fans should have been allowed. Done deal. That's it. There's no point for another poll of anything else. However, if a majority of the fans said no to the vote, then the fans should not have been allowed and vice versa. Um, Major League Baseball should have definitely continued business as usual until the loss of players from the COVID-19 disease became more prominent. Being scared of an unknown factor is, in my opinion, very ignorant. It's like you're trying to tell yourself you cannot leave. And if you've ever seen the movie Bubble Boy, you would understand because you don't really know what you're missing out on because you're scared to get out there and understand it. And the loss of revenue as well speaks for itself. The Atlanta Braves brought in the most home game revenue in 2019, right around $5.6 million on average per game. $2.2 million of this was in ticket sales alone. Another $2 million of it is from endorsements throughout the stadium where someone would go 
buy their family snacks or something like that. Um, because there were no fans allowed, that's $4 million that you're already missing out on home games. Yes, it was a shortened season because of cor the coronavirus, but if we take the 82 game season that was played, divide that by two, that's 41 home games, and you multiply that by 40, by $4 million, you're looking right around 150,000 plus, or $150 million, a little bit more, that you have lost in revenue. Um, in conclusion, it was not a good idea for Major League Baseball to not allow fans in 2020. Um, knowing how everything else was affecting the world, uh, we definitely should have understood a little bit more about what was going on. Um, so with that, I leave everybody with what do they feel should have happened for the 2020 season for Major League Baseball. Thank you.